Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking about my August TBR. So, I actually filmed this video already, but I didn't like the way it turned out. So, I'm refilming it, <laughs> which means my prompts in my books have basically already been chosen. I'm just not going to go through the whole process of picking them out of my jar this time around. I'm just hoping you guys will trust me that these came out of the jar and everything like that, and I did the whole process. I'm excited for August. I have not had the greatest reading month in July and that's just mostly because I'm finishing up grad school and so everything in July was kind of hectic and I just was not in the greatest headspace to read while trying to also write papers and do assignments and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping August will be a nice refresh because hopefully I'll be starting a new job but uh, after that, that'll be it. It'll just be the new job. I won't have school, I won't have classes, it'll just be that. And though I'm probably gonna have to take time to get acclimated to this new job but it'll be less on my plate than what I've had the past few months so I'm just hoping that my reading picks up again and I'll be able to get back into the mojo that I've been in all year so the first prompt that I had pulled from the jar is an anthology collection and I added this because I wanted to read more anthologies. I kind of had a thought about it like a few months ago and then I realized I don't own a lot. Side note, if you guys have any good anthology recommendations, leave the, please leave those down in the comments section because um, I definitely want to get my hands on more um, now that I know that I don't have a lot. The one that I do own and the one that I have been wanting to read through again is the Den of Shadows Quartet by Amelia Atwater Rhodes. So I read this when I was in middle school. It was a gift from a friend and I absolutely loved it. It's a set of four fantasy stories that kind of take place in the same world but follow different characters and I really really adored this when I read it the first time around so I want to reread it and see if my feelings are the same um, as they were the first time and I am really really excited to get to this because I like this I had to buy a new edition like I still have my old edition somewhere but I had to buy a new one because my old one was so beat up because of how many times I read and reread and just wrote and whatever else so I'm just hyped to get back into this so then the next prompt I I pulled was a book a friend has loved so, for that one, um, I chose Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan. So, Cell really loved this. Um, so, I'm using them as my friend because they are my friend. And I am excited to pick this up. Um, I got this from Fairy Loot and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm just really excited to read this edition, but also I'm really excited to see read the story um i don't really know anything about it i think it i it might be a retelling but i could totally be wrong and i kind of just want to go in with the bare minimum because i feel like that's gonna help me enjoy it more so the next prompt i pulled was read a sequel so for that one i chose the crow writer by kaylin josephson so i read the storm crow at the beginning of this year and I have been wanting to pick this up next because it's only a duology, so it's not like it's a super long series. And because I actually kind of enjoyed the first book, and I want to see where this world goes and where it ends. And so I'm really excited to check this one out and see what happens. The premise of the story is this princess, she lives in this kingdom that relies on these magical crows to really thrive. And this neighboring kingdom basically comes in and is just just destroys her entire kingdom, kills her parents, or kills her mother, um, and then, like, kills all the crows. So, in order to make peace, she has to be married off to the evil kingdom's prince, and, um, she ends up finding a, the last crow egg before she leaves. And so, as she's in this new kingdom, trying to figure out, like, who's a friend, who's a foe, She's also trying to figure out how to hatch this egg and save her people. So, 
it's really interesting. I really liked it, and I'm definitely excited to see what happens in this last book. The next prompt I pulled was a ne the next book in a series you've started. So, for some reason, the jar really wanted me to be reading sequels in August. It's wild. But the book I decided on was Finley Donovan, Knox Him Dead by El Casimano. So I read the first one this year and I absolutely loved it. It was so funny, so good. And I decided that I would go ahead and pick up the second book um, because I need some some good, good vibes in my life and I feel like this will bring it. Um, the first book follows Finley Donovan who is a... In, struggling author who just got divorced has a single mother of two kids and she is literally on the last leg of her um book deadline she's pushed it off two years she can't push it off anymore and she has to she has to write a hit basically and so <sighs> due to circumstances someone confuses her as a hit woman and wants her to kill the the client's husband and shenanigans ensues where Finley ends up with a dead body because of various circumstances and she has to figure out what to do next and then the nanny gets involved. It's just a really honestly a hilarious story and I'm so looking forward to reading this next one and seeing what happens next in the Finley Donovan saga. Um, I know there's a third book coming out as well so I'm kind of hyped to see this series play out. Alright, and then the last prompt that I pulled was a 2020 release. So for that one, I was trying to decide between two books, but I just went ahead and pulled Mexican Gothic by Silvio Moreno Garcia. So I absolutely loved The Beautiful Ones. It was a five-star read for me this year. I loved it. So I honestly went back and I bought a lot of her backlist titles. And Mexican Gothic was one that was published in 2020 that I think I could read. I'm a little nervous because I kind of remember that it does have horror elements. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about that because I'm not a big horror fan. But I'm willing to give it a try for, for my girl. So I'm super duper excited to check this one out and see where it goes. Because I have, oops, excuse me, I have heard good things about this regardless. So excitement i don't know what it's about to be honest with you and i'm just gonna kind of go in blind because that's kind of how i did with her last book and i just want to keep up the, the tradition at this point all right so then we move on to my buzzword so august buzzword is an item or an object in the title so for that one i chose a magic steeped in poison by judy uh, i lynn and so i figured this was fitting because an item object poison is an item or an object so I felt this was a good fit and I really want to get read this in August as well anyways so I'm excited because I think this is going to be really good I've heard interesting things and again I don't really know what this is about but I want to go in kind of ignorant of the synopsis because I feel like that's the best best way to read. Alright, and then just some extra books I kind of want to get to in August, and the first one is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by XEO. This is also a fairy loot edition, which I adore, and I have heard good things about this one as well. Again, don't know much about it. I think this one is also retelling maybe, but I'm really, really hyped to check it out, and I'm really excited. I kind of grouped this one, Magic Seed of Poison and Daughter of the Moon Goddess, together because I feel like they're all going to be potential hits. And so I wanted just to read them all in one month and see what I feel. So I'm just really, really excited. And then the last extra I'm going to add on to this list is the next book in the Sarah J Moss series. So <laughs> I've been struggling in July. I potentially I'm supposed to be reading Air of Fire so I'm hoping that by the end of July by the time this video goes up I have finished that and I can move on to Queen of Shadows but just in case if not then in August I'll either be reading Air of Fire or Queen of Shadows which is the next book in the Throne of Glass read through that I'm doing so <laughs> <laughs> just to cover my bases those are my two options so you will see which one I I guess potentially I read uh, at the end of the month hopefully if I can get get it together with filming my wrap-ups hey friends 
Um, future Alana here. So when I filmed my August TBR, I filmed it early, and so G just announced the next round for the Magical Readathon in August, and I wasn't expecting that when I filmed my August TBR. So this is me coming back in with that TBR as well. So um, for the Autumn Equinox, I am still going for the. I guess career of mind mender. So I passed my spring round and so now I'm in the fall semester basically. And so the um, classes I have to take are spells and incantations, which I have to get an ordinary in that, um, psionics and divination, which I have to get a distinguished in that, and then restoration, which has to be qualified. The prompts that I have to do, um, I have some books for some of them, and then for others I don't, so we're just gonna, some of them are kind of gonna have to be like feel-throughs, unfortunately. The first prompt I am doing is for spells and incantations and that one is recolor use a color wheel and pick a book matching that color so i found a color wheel on my phone and i'm gonna um screen record real quick so that way you all can see on my screen so uh it's this and i'm just gonna go ahead and click spin and so green so I have to find a book that is green that I can read so Mexican Gothic has green on it so I'm gonna choose that just so I'm not overwhelming myself with a bunch of books in August and this was technically already gonna be on my TBR so the next prompt is for psionics and divination so the first one is time theory one which is a story featuring time travel so for that one for that one i kind of have two options i was struggling because i didn't really know which of my books had time travel in them so it took me a minute but when i looked on story graph there was another challenge that i had been doing that had time travel as a prompt and so when i looked in there like looked into the to the suggestions that people had the two that they had listed was the invisible library by genevieve cogman and then a winter's promise by christella davos so i think i might choose between these two i'm kind of leaning more towards a winter's promise but i'm not really sure yet but just know that these are the ones that i found so then the second prompt is time theory 2 which is a book with the same word in the title as your last read for that one i could wait and like see what my last book of the month is going to be but i just decided to do it now so the last book i've read so far as i'm filming this is the bromance book club and i don't have anything that fits the words bromance or book club but that is in the title so i'm gonna use that and i'm actually gonna do the crow writer because i already plan to read this for august so this is another book i can just tie in to the readathon and not overwhelm myself with books so that's a plan so then the next prompt for psionics and divination is intro to palm mystery which is sec a secondhand book so i was looking around and i actually don't have a lot of secondhand books um on me or the ones that i have bought secondhand are are sequels that i can't get to yet or they're books that i've already read that i just bought secondhand because I really enjoyed them. So I kind of shifted the meaning of that prompt for me a little bit and instead I secondhand I'm gonna apply as like gifted as well. So for that one I actually chose um, July the Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Break because this one was gifted to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I know it's kind of a stretch but I'm just gonna go with it. So that's um, what I'm gonna read. I'm excited for this one because it's a sapphic romance and I really want to get into sapphic romances. So we're gonna just we're gonna see where it goes. And then next are the prompts for restoration. So I only had to do two for that one since I only needed qualified. So for the first one is object restoration and that is a single object as the focus of the cover. So for that one, I'm going to choose Warstorm by Victoria Aveyard because 
I've been trying to get through this book all year, and I'm deciding August is the August is the month. August is the month. I'm gonna get through it. I have the audio. I can make it through. I just gotta I gotta push, and I won't be in school anymore. So I think I can really give this the time that I need to dedicate to finish this. So, and this fits the prompt because right now it's just a crown on the cover. So this is the one object. So we're gonna go with that. All right, and then the last prompt that I have to do for the whole readathon, but also for restoration, is Enchanted Scroll Mending, which is one of the oldest books on your TBR. So when I looked on Goodreads, I couldn't decide if they wanted like oldest published or just oldest bought. So I went with just the oldest bought um, because it, I don't know, it was kind of confusing to me. And the one I actually had, I guess, on there was a uh, match made in high school by Kristen Walker. I remember like years ago, I wanted to read this and then I found it. I, I think I had a books a million and I bought it and I haven't picked it up at all. So I have no idea if I even still want to read this or if this still interests me, but I'm going to read it and I'm going to see how it goes and we're going to go from there. So that is my August TBR. Those are all the books I'm excited to read and get to. I'm really excited to get this next stage in my life of just new job and hopefully things will calm down and I can have a consistent paycheck again. <laughs> But, yeah, let me know what you think about these books down below. Let me know if you've read them, if you like them. Let me know what you are going to be trying to read in August. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. But leave me, like, a summery emoji that makes you feel like summer, since August is still summer in my book. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.